Dear colleagues, in this video, we will see pre-chop of a cataract with mid-dilated pupil. This is a real-time, totally unedited surgery. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated after applying few drops of povidone iodine. And now, the main incision is being made. The main incision is being made with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock and now we can see that the pupil has dilated to about 4.5 to 5 millimeter so this is a bit of adrenaline and then the anterior chamber is filled up with visco with adrenaline and visco the pupil has dilated to about 5.5 millimeter this is a side port on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away. Now with stereo coaxial illumination, I'm trying to do capsular access. You could see some folds wrinkling of the anterior capsule, which indicates that the genule is a bit weak. So we have to be more careful. Capsular access has been done. The capsular tag has been guided along the margin of the people to get an adequate size truxes. Now hydrodissection is done with BSS. And this is visco filling up the anterior chamber. And now here goes the pre-chop, Mohanta's pre-chopper and nucleus sustainer. The pre-chopper is engaged here. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator going just under the rexus margin and we get a nice crack. This, this is a, a, about a grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. You can see that it's a little on the harder side but easily we can pre-chop. And I'm trying Yes, I have got three pieces. One heminucleus has been divided into two pieces and one heminucleus has not been pre-chopped. But still, we can manage it easily. And now, we just have to go and emulsify the pieces. So, what happens in cataracts with mid-dilated people is as we try to pre uh, chop, direct chop or whatever we want to do in the anterior chamber, the pupil becomes small sometimes. So if we pre-chop the nucleus in such cases, we can easily manage the nucleus before the pupil becomes small. That's the advantage. So in mid-dilated pupil, if the cataract is not very hard, it's a good idea to use a pre-chopper. And now this is the contact lens concept. For the last piece and for the other pieces also we can do this. I detach the epinuclear shell and remove the last piece. And then going to a little lower vacuum, I remove the cortical matter. At this time the, uh, the IA mode and uh, vacuum is about 350. Fluorate 35. So by the handpiece itself, uh, I try to remove the cortex nowadays and most of the time I become successful nowadays. But if at any point of time I feel that it is going to be dangerous, immediately I stop at that point, come out, inject visco and uh, use either by manual irrigation aspiration or Simco or coaxial irrigation aspiration. Now this is hydro polish using the irrigating jet of fluid only to polish the posterior capsule. And finally this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. And the lens goes in the capsular bag. So the idea of this video is to share the concept that for mid-dilated people, if the cataract is grade 2 or grade 3, 
it's a good idea to pre-chop because in such cases what happens is if we try to um, chop the nucleus with hand piece, sometimes the people becomes very small and we have to use you know some kind of people expansion ring. We can avoid that if we use this technique of pre-chopping. Pre-chop by the time you the people becomes starts to get smaller by that time the nucleus is already managed. We can retract the iris and remove the cortex. We can use an eye hook in such cases if necessary. So by this time the uh, case is done, integrity of the wound is checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching this real-time unedited surgery. Hope this will encourage you to use pre-chopper in such mid-dilated uh, people's